Hi, Corey Fishman here, back again to talk to you today about a product. Um, today, specifically, we're going to be talking about Alfresco grills. Alfresco is absolutely one of the top grill manufacturers on the planet. They're based out of California, so USA made and manufactured. Really an awesome product with some really cool features that we're going to get into a bit. Number one, right off the bat, we're going to talk about the warranty on the Alfresco grill. It's right there with the best of the best in terms of warranties. Uh, you've got a lifetime warranty on the shell of the grill, on the grill grates, the cooking grids, on the burners. Um, you have a five-year warranty on briquette trays and uh, valves and some of the other basic parts in the grill. And then a two-year warranty on uh, the lights and the ignition system. And uh, so yeah, pretty much pretty standard for top of the line grill manufacturers in terms of the warranty. Alfresco is going to do everything they can for you to support that product and honor that warranty. Aside from that, let's talk about the actual features of the grill itself. And this is one of the things that really makes Alfresco stand out a little bit amongst uh, some of the other grill manufacturers and grill brands out there. Uh, they have some really neat features inside their grill. Specifically, I'll start off talking about the rotisserie. So sadly, I'd say that the majority of my clients never ever use the rotisserie. They just don't touch it. I think most people are just afraid of it. Uh, just not sure exactly how to use it. Think it's more complicated than it is. But I always like to tell people uh, that I, I strongly, strongly recommend playing around with it. The 1% of my clients that do use it, it's typically their favorite feature in the grill and there's just so much more that you can do aside from chicken, uh, pork tenderloin, rib roast. I've got clients that put pineapple on it and, and baste the pineapple while it's spinning with uh, cinnamon and sugar, coconut cream sauce, all kinds of fun things you can do. But as far as the alfresco grill, the rotisserie in that grill is one of the strongest out there. Uh, it's got a very, very robust motor to it. The rotisserie motor is actually built into the grill itself, so the rotisserie rod just plugs right inside uh, to a, a notch right in the actual shell of the grill. And I'll tell you right now, if you if you were to grab that rotisserie uh, spit while it's while it's spinning, you cannot stop it. You can't slow it down. You cannot bog it down. The motor is very, very powerful. What does that mean in terms of functionality? Well, a couple of things. Number one, that motor is just the power behind it. It's going to last a long time and, and just keep functioning for you. But beyond that, it allows you to put really, really large pieces of meat onto it. Really heavy things can go onto that rotisserie and it will keep on spinning no problem. It's not going to slip. Uh, it's just going to keep turning. And so if you really, really are into cooking with the rotisserie, the Alfresco grill might be one of the best options on the market for you. Another cool feature of the Alfresco is going to be the smoker tray. So the smoker tray is basically a a drawer or uh, pull out in the front face of the grill that slides out and you can put wood pellets into typically soaked uh, wood, water soaked wood pellets and it's uh, it's going to impart some smokiness into the food that you're cooking. A lot of manufacturers used to have a smoker tray built into their grills and most have gotten away from it uh, primarily because nobody really did it very well. However, Alfresco's found a way to make it work very, very well for them for their grill. And um, what's really neat is that you can actually have just the burner underneath the smoker tray turned on. And with the hood closed on the grill, you can hold and maintain a temperature of around 185 degrees inside the grill. Now that's not hot enough to cook anything. However, it can impart that smoke at that temperature for hours on end, which actually would allow you to put some food in there, put some meat into the grill and get a smoke ring on it. And then once uh, you've had it in there long enough to, to impart that smokiness, you can then turn the other burners on, crank them up a bit, and then finish cooking the meat fully uh, on the grill, but still have that smokiness built into and ingrained into uh, whatever it was that you're cooking. Uh, so in terms of gas grills, that's really the only gas grill on the market that I know of that you can, you can do that in. Beyond that, Alfresco is also really well known for inserts. They have a number of different inserts that can go into their grill and be utilized for different types of cooking. Uh, they have a flat top griddle insert, so you can take this 
griddle plate and put it into the grill and utilize it for uh, cooking vegetables. It would normally fall through the cooking grates. You could do fish on top of it. Uh, you could even do fried rice, just like you'd get at a hibachi restaurant, right on top of the flat top griddle. Now that is an insert that a lot of other companies make for their grills as well, but Alfresco though takes it a little bit further with the rest of their inserts. So the next insert they have is going to be what they call their steamer slash fryer slash pasta cooker. So obviously it's a fairly multi-use item, uh, but this, this item you literally take one of the grill grates out of the grill and place this right into the grill above the burner and um, as it implies, you can steam things with it, you can fry things in it, um, and you can pos cook pasta in it. So uh, definitely a very, very cool uh, multi-use item uh, that nobody else really offers for, for their grills. Uh, there's also another insert that is specifically for indirect roasting. So if you wanted to roast a turkey or something along those lines, that's a nice feature to have as well. You can purchase that unit uh, for your grill. And beyond that, I think the most interesting insert that they, they have is going to be their solid fuel insert. Uh, this allows you to actually, once again, take out the one of the grill grates from your grill and put this insert in and cook with charcoal or wood inside of your gas grill. Uh, it's really neat how they designed this item. It has baffles on the underside of this insert that allow you to set it in right above the gas burner, turn the gas burner on, and the gas burner will actually ignite the charcoal or wood inside of the insert. Then you can turn the gas burner off and then cook right, th right there with, uh, with charcoal or wood inside of your gas grill. Um, not really any other grills on the market offering uh, a feature like that. Uh, it definitely ups the game in terms of that variable styles of cooking in one single appliance. Um, so definitely a really, really neat insert, and that's one of our best sellers with the Alfresco grill. Uh, now, Alfresco grills come in a few different sizes just like most other grills on the market. However, the 42 inch is definitely their flagship model. That is the size that they recommend uh, most, primarily because it is made specifically to fit all of these inserts the best out of all their different size grills. Um, so that, that really is, is their, their flagship model, but there, there are numerous other sizes that you can get as well to fit into the, your outdoor kitchen and your space, however you need it to, to work. Another thing to note about the Alfresco grill is the heat. Uh, this is one thing that all of my clients that have Alfrescos tend to agree on. This grill gets hot and uh, Alfresco takes a lot of pride in that. It is one of the hottest grills on the market, uh, both its convection burners and its infrared burners. So your convection burners are your standard style of burner in a gas grill, and usually they range in temperature from a low of 250 to a high of around 650 degrees in higher end grills. Uh, in the Alfresco, they actually max out more around 800 degrees. And your infrared burner or sear burner, which typically ranges from 800 to 1200 degrees in other high-end grills. In the Alfresco, it ranges more so from uh, 1000 to 1500 degrees. Now, why would you want a grill that, that puts out this much heat? Well, the clients who have Alfresco grills tend to agree that it puts some great sear marks and char marks on whatever they're cooking and really just gives them a lot of leeway in terms of um, if they want to crank that grill up and get it hotter for whatever they're cooking, they, they have it. They have the heat there, they have the power to do it and um, so a lot of people really, really like that feature. Aside from those items, there's a lot of other great features with the Alfresco grill. And if you'd like to talk about it or learning more about the product, we'd be happy to discuss that with you here in our showroom. Give us a call at 561-254-6701 and we'll set up an appointment for you to come in and talk about the Alfresco grill with me in person. Hope to see you soon. Thanks.